So we know how easy it is to cut out a part from the shapes library, but this time let's do something custom with a template or an image from the internet and turn that into a CNC file so the machine can cut it out. So I have a trace here of a speed shape that I want to turn into a piece I can cut out. Now this geometry is fairly complicated, it wouldn't be very simple to sketch, but I'm going to show you a simple four step process that we can scan this into the computer, take it from the scan, put it into our CAD program, and then CAD program into the machine. Step one is to take our trace and scan it into our computer. I'm going to use an app called Cam Scanner. There's a lot of scanning apps out there that you can use, but that'll get us from here into the computer. Now that I have my template scanned in as a JPEG file, I'm going to drag and drop this into Convertio.co. This is the website that I like to use to convert all my files to a DXF format. So we're going to, from the drop down menu, select the DXF format under CAD, and we're going to click the convert button. Now this is going to take just a minute to convert it over into a DXF format that we'll be able to open up in our Autodesk Fusion 360. Now that it's converted, I can click the download button and we'll open up Autodesk Fusion 360. Now from Fusion, we're going to click the open menu, open from my computer and we're going to navigate to that file, that DXF file that I just downloaded. Open that up. It may take a minute to load. Some of these conversion files can be pretty complicated. All right, now that we got it up on the screen, we can see that we have our two trace lines. Now this back half here got a little bit chopped up, so I'm going to go in with the sketch tools and I'm just going to clean that up quick. All right, now I've cleaned up that little part on the outer trace and I deleted the inner trace so we can just get one solid object. Now next I'm going to scale this so that it's accurate to the part that we traced out. Usually when you scan these, they'll be blown up and they'll be a lot bigger than you want them. So the scale factor is going to be pretty small here. To scale our object, we're going to want to pull a dimension off our part that we're scaling to. So we know what our actual is and we're going to compare that to what we have in Fusion we're going to scale appropriately so we can get it down so our actual matches what's in Fusion. So I've got it scaled and I've got my solid extruded out and we're ready to go and make a machine cut path so we can put it in the CNC table. So we're going to switch over to the manufacturing tab in Fusion, fabrication, we're going to click 2D profile. We're going to click our contour that we want to base the profile off, assign ourselves a cutting tool which in this case is our plasma cutter with our desired curve width input. We're going to make sure our compensation is set to in computer so that the software will automatically compensate for the curve width. And then we're going to click OK to process the machine path. Now we've got our machine path, it looks good to go. We're going to click post process, make sure we got the right post file set in there. We're going to click post and then we're going to make sure it saves to our USB thumb drive so we can transfer that over to the machine. I got the file on my USB thumb drive, now we're going to take it over the machine and cut it out. So I got my USB drive, I'm going to plug that in. We're going to navigate F2 files, F2 again for USB disk, it's going to take a second to load. Now we can see, we can scroll down and we got our speedshape.cnc file. Hit enter, quick load that right in. And there we have our cut. Now we're going to want to adjust the start point on this since I'm starting in the bottom right. We're going to go F3 part option, F1 start point, F4 right and bottom. Save that. Now we're ready to cut this out. It's always good to run a demo to make sure that your file is exactly how you like it. So we're going to hit space, F2 demo. So that looks good. Now we're going to cut it out.
There we go, we had a successful cut. Our part's ready to go. So that was our four step process to take a trace and turn it into a CNC cut. Now this process is exactly the same if you wanna take a file off the internet and cut it out on the CNC table, but you simply don't need to scan, you can start right at Convertio. For more videos on the CNC plasma table, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more information on the CNC table itself, make sure to check out eastwood.com.